Hello, it's Japping Time with me, Felonius the Wizard, and today we are going to talk about something that I have touched more or less in an earlier one. I think it was number 61, a new recipe. Every time I read on the bottles or the boxes or the bags or whatever it is that I'm buying stuff in, there always seems to be something new about the thing that I have bought for 10, 20, 30 years. Um, except milk. It seems to be the same every time. Thank goodness for that. Now suddenly I was doing some... Uh, it was for the laundry. I did some softening. Uh, and I didn't know what to get. And suddenly I saw there was some... Well, it was uh, one of the good brands that I've used before. And it was for a cheaper price. What I didn't know, of course, was that it was concentrated. That is, you couldn't get much into the, the washing machine uh, at the time. I had to read that. But on the bottle it also said, freshness that lasts longer. Lasts longer than what? Now, we can, of course, assume that they are um, comparing to other products on the, the market, of course. So they, their product lasts longer than other products. But um, it's a softener. As soon as you take on a shirt or a pair of trousers or whatever, that freshness is gone. Your sweat is on. That's how it is. So the freshness doesn't last anymore unless, of course, you don't use the clothes. If you don't use clothing, then the freshness will be in your cupboard for probably longer than ever. I mean, it's rather stupid to write something like that. Every time I see something like lasts longer, I was thinking, yeah, depending on, of course. And there's always a condition. If you, have, uh, if you don't use anything, then nothing will happen. Yes, but you don't write that because that doesn't l sound as fun or good or gives you some edge. And, it, I mean, the guys in the PR business, of course, they need to be doing all this. But if you put some effort in doing that for a bottle of freshener, softener in um, to the laundry, people will buy whatever they find the cheapest anyway, because that's how we do. I usually do it. Oh! I've done actually one bad thing. There was three bottles, small ones, for a very nifty price. And I was thinking, oh yes, I'm going to save a lot. Yeah, before I could get to the third bottle, that one was so full of lumps and stuff. And was actually making its own product. <clears throat> some, I don't know, it was <laughs> giving birth to some creepy things inside the bottle, I could just throw that one away. So I didn't see, save any money. A word of thing. But if that PR firm didn't have to think up freshness lasts longer, you could scam, you can take away, let's say, three or four crowns of the bottle, and you would probably sell even more than putting that add stuff on because that will cost the bottle more and so on and so forth and it's not true that's the real thing now most of us me included don't really read everything that is on and um, adverts and stuff i usually just look at them and go okay but and then I have a condition. I should actually do a series about bad um, adverts and stuff and, and uh, commercials. But it would be mostly in Swedish. So I probably shouldn't. But you get the point. 
if you are you don't need to be smart but if you are just thinking about it you will think okay i don't really mm, don't buy that well this guy felonius the wizard he is not going to last longer thank you for listening bye for today